Get a better broadcast podcast of, you know the rest. Hello, I'm Peter Stewart on Twitter. I'm Tweeter Stewart, got a background of 30 years in radio and TV presentation, done some voiceovers as well, and also producing various sound programs, audio, uh, tons and tons of podcasts. I reckon getting on for about 3,000 podcasts in my time. So, uh, and also trained people at the BBC how to use their voice. So that is the point of this series of, uh, of, of, of short daily podcasts. I've been going for a couple of years now uh, 18 months thank you welcome along whole host of archive content for you to dig and delve into talking about using auto cues and teleprompters at the moment yesterday was entitled how to be an auto cutie part one today how to be an auto cutie part two on get a better broadcast podcast and voice over voice you'll never guess what tomorrow's show is called so today we're talking about rehearsal. Yeah, rehearse using your auto cue or your teleprompter. So have the font set to suit your site. Although the larger the font, the fewer the words will appear at a time. It'll save you squinting or slipping up and getting panicked. You can often switch the text from white on black to black on white if that makes it easier for you to read as well. And you may also need to adjust your glasses because you're going to be focusing on the middle distance rather than the close distance as you might do actually with a script. Now, you can't see many words at once on a prompter, so it's tricky to read ahead and get the sense of the sentence before you actually read it out loud. So you have to know the script in advance to get the correct delivery and intonation and not be caught out by any unusual words. You may be able to have some keywords underlined or in capitals to help guide you through. Having said that, some studios write the whole script in capitals, which can make it tricky to spot a name or a title which is upcoming. So you've certainly got to know what it is that you're going to be talking about. Write out words, how you're going to read them, and in the correct order. Because, for example, and I've got this in the show notes, uh, if you've got 0.7 million Australian dollars, that's how I've said it to you as part of this script, but it could potentially be written AU dollar sign 0.7 m which could be really awkward to read sight read certainly if you're coming across that for the very first time yeah think how you might write down 700 million australian dollars for sight reading or not for sight reading and the difference that that makes Beware of any stage directions that might be included in the script. Now, OK, these are usually in square brackets, but they could be things like camera one or ad lib to fill to 2930, which obviously you shouldn't read out. Again, this is where rehearsals come in. And finally, have a hard copy of the script to hand in case the auto cue malfunctions, turning the pages as you proceed. So there's a few tips today on how you can be an auto cutie. Tomorrow, we've got some more tips on the same subject as Get A Better Broadcast Podcast and Voice Over Voice continues. From London, I'm Peter Stewart.